This is Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2022-26 RBSS Puma Travel Trailer by Palomino. This is a single slide unit, uh, rear bath uh, model. The exact weight and length I will show you on the sticker. Oh, it's at the door. No, it's right here. Uh, 6,144 pounds and actual length 29 feet tip to tip. Uh, 29 feet 10 inches tip to tip. That's from our coupler uh, to the rearmost point on the bumper. So, sub 30 footer. Um, very reasonable weight here um, from, you know, compared to what we usually sell. So 26 RBSS. And we're going to start. We'll start at the rear. I'll just do a, a quick pan, and you can see the four, four pan we're working with here. Uh, Mid-living, mid-kitchen, mid bedroom at the front, uh, big bath at the back. All right, so we're going to start at the bathroom at the rear first. Uh, there's a door here to close that off if you want. Uh, again, notice an actual door that closes that off, not just some weird curtain or sliding door um to the left is our sink really good amount of storage in this unit so in the bathroom especially we've got storage below our sink a great linen closet uh, to the right of that as you can see a medicine cabinet and there is actually you know storage in that not just a mirror on the wall and then there's our sink itself uh they put little motion lights throughout these which i think is neat uh, a little decorative accent there with a uh, toothbrush holder so that is the uh, kitchen the sink area. You've got a switch here for the overhead fan as well. I have it off, of course. Uh, foot flush toilet, and then a really nice shower in this unit because it's a rear bath. We've got that space, which actually got a seat built into it. Um, you know, pretty tub surround here with some shelving built into that as well. Uh, skylight and vent here to give it even more light coming in. So really well equipped, nice bathroom. This is looking from the bathroom toward the front. Uh, we have the theater seats in this unit. Uh, they come with a basic jack and sofa, but we optioned this in. Because it's right across from the TV, it just makes sense to us in this particular floor plan. Uh, behind this door, this is where you've got your thermostat for your main air. Um, roller shades at all the windows. I'll try to point that out to everybody. Uh, as you can see, there's storage above the, um, above the theater seats there as well. Notice the slide itself. This is a large slide. And a couple things to note that Puma does. This is a flush floor slide. There's no step up. Um, compare that when you walk into the stuff. This is just straight, straight flush with the floor, or as flush as it could as it could obviously be. Um, it's full depth. Notice it's a deep slide. It's three foot. It's not a, not a foot and a half or two foot. Notice the height of it. It's a tall slide. Um, I'm not hitting my head. Um, like a lot of these, I have to duck to get into it. So really good size slide here as well, which is a big deal. It's also a rack and pinion. It's not a cheaper version of like a a Swintec or a slim rack or a cable slide. Uh, this is a rack and pinion slide, so easy to work on and easy to operate. Uh, USB ports, notice that here. Uh, overhead lights are always on a switch in the Puma, which I really appreciate. Our booth, a couple things here that are higher quality. We actually have doors below our booth seats. We can actually access that stuff without having to make everybody get up and lift the cushion off. A uh, big window at the booth as well, big window in the slide ends. A lot of companies don't do that either. Uh, my sister made this. This is actually a little list of Puma Travel Trailer features. So you may want to pause the video and read this. Um, just a little handout thing that we made ourselves going back to the kitchen area actually we'll talk about the, the entertainment center first uh, fireplace little shelf there above maybe you got a roku or something you want to put there and then tv uh, we already get the tv in ours as well uh air conditioner there it is ducted uh throughout this is a 50 amp unit you could add a second air it's prepped in the bedroom you'll see that but one ac already on it ducted as far as the kitchen goes um if you've watched other videos of mine you've seen you know the classic a 10.7 cubic foot, all 12 volt refrigerator. We love that. Uh, cool so much quicker than the old gas electrics and they're a lot less expensive if something were to go wrong. So that's a winner. Uh, we got the glass top stove cover to help give us more countertop space. Sink covers, one is like the, the style that you can set, th set something on and it drains. The other one is a wood you know, cutting board style. So I like the different options there. We actually have an oven, not just a storage compartment below. If you don't use it, well, it's still storage. Um, an array of things below there as far as storage, cabinet doors and drawers. Um, I like that you can get to your water pump easy right there. That's what that little sticker and that access panel is about. So Puma's nice. They put a valve and a hose at every pump, which is really convenient for, for those of you that winterize your own campers. You know how nice that is. A residential style faucet with a pullout sprayer. They put a window in here, uh, which is nice for more light. Uh, cabinetry above, little decorative glass inserts. And then we go to the bedroom. So that's a wide doorway, as you can tell. Maybe those of you that uh, mobility is more of a concern, this is a wide doorway, much wider than most that we see. 
In our bedroom, several things of note here. There actually are little nightstand tables on the sides, not just a bare a wood you know, paneling shelf or whatever. There's outlets on both sides. That side has USBs as well. Hanging storage on both sides. Reading lights on both sides. This storage above, there's actually cabinet doors. It's not just an open storage area, so stuff can't just fly out. Um, there's our sticker we're talking about. It's prepared for a second air if you wanted to add a second air on this size unit. I mean, for the majority of people, it's not, but that's a nice feature to have that 50 amp available already. Uh, windows on both sides of the bed as well. Again, it doesn't feel like a bedroom closet. It feels like an actual bedroom. That's the TV hookup you can see right there. You can mount it on the wall there if you wanted. All right, and that is the bedroom. All right, we're going to go back outside. Oh, one more thing before we leave. I want to show you the pantry. I forgot that. This is behind our TV. Huge, huge pantry. I mean, that is awesome. The amount of storage there. So, really, really cool addition to this floor plan. A lot of storage. You can make it hanging storage or pantry storage. And then your control panel here with the monitor panel, awning, slide switches, light switches. All that good stuff here on the wall. All right, let's go back outside. <clears throat> take a look at some features here. More right step above steps. Big grab handle at the door as well. Friction hinge door, which is a higher quality door instead of just a, a regular door with a, you got to use the latch that breaks inevitably. Outside kitchen with a few little features here. We've got a refrigerator and a cooktop, griddle cooktop there that all pulls out. Pretty neat setup. Um, outside shower or outside spray port, excuse me, right there. Outside TV hookup with an outlet, coax, connection, and then TV mount if you want to use that. Dual gas electric water heater. Uh, rack and pinion slide. I talked about this. I love that. That little hole right there is where I can uh, manually crank this slide if I need to. Uh, I appreciate that option. Notice the windows. We have tint on these windows. It's not a see-through window. That's a nicer option. Also notice on Puma, I don't know of any other brand that spends as much time sealing things. Everything's siliconed. Um, not relying on just putty or foam. We actually, they actually take the time to silicone all exterior moldings, which is really, really nice. Outside shower, um, outside uh, hookup for the black tank flush. This does have the extended season package as well. All electric jacks on this unit. So four electric stabs and the electric tongue jack. They put a ladder on the back to access the roof easily. Spare tire mounted on the back. There's our 15 amp detachable power cord we're talking about prep for a backup camera if you wanted to add that that's your tv hookups right there that is your city water connection this is the termination point for uh the rear bath so you got your gray and black back here nice big slide room we talked about storage below the booth is accessible from this the uh Kitchen drain, you can see that right there. So you got another another tank. It's awesome. They put two gray tanks, one for the bath, one for the uh, kitchen. This is the storage up front. Nice big pass-through storage. That door's even bigger over there. This is nice. It's finished out. It's neat. Um, very, very good job there by Puma. I'm not smart enough to lock that. There we go. Uh, dual bottles on the front. Electric tongue jack. That lower portion of the diamond metal actually got rock guard, which is nice. All right, so that is the unit. Uh, 2022 26 RBSS Puma travel trailer by Palomino. Uh, single slide rear bath unit, 50 amp service, all electric jacks, under 30 feet. Um, very nice little unit. The listing in the description will give you more information. If you click that, it goes to our website. We have pictures and again, more information there. Or you can call, text, or email us. Anybody in our family would be happy to help you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.